Hey, Redcon Raider here, and welcome back to Jagged Alliance 3. As today, we uh, we have another last-minute change of plans. Tis the season, so we might as well do something spooky scary. That aside, uh, by overwhelmingly popular demand, the Raiders have requested that I get Larry into rehab before we meet up with Biff. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess that's what we're doing today. Uh, which means we need to head down south to H-12, the hospital, which is currently inactive. I assume that means we need to complete some sort of quest before we can actually access the rehab facility. So our goal today is to at least get there and get an idea of what's going on before we wrap the episode. We'll have Flay take care of the militia situation in Diamond Red, while Charlie and Delta head south. Though uh, they will, of course, clear these last few tiles en route. We've also got a single enemy patrol coming down the river, but that's fine. I'm sure the boys at La Barriere can take care of that. Though I might part Flay there for a moment, just so I can pull XP from it. But yeah, yeah, let's get the ball rolling. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Oh yes, and we, uh, we have Charlie revisiting this sector because... It turns out I forgot to loot it. What's up, player? We outie. Follow me, or I'll just follow you. Nope, that's fine. Yeah, I, apparently I was in such a hurry to hit Diamond Red, I just completely blanked Hold on up. it. Check this out. Even after I specifically mentioned being curious about that weapon smuggler over there. Sure. Sure. Boss is around. All right, all right. Let's move. It's not technically stealing if no one is around to call it that. Not that we're really finding much of note here. It's all pretty low tier scrap. Modified M14. Yeah, that's pretty low tier as well. I do get the distinct impression that the developers really thought the player would go for Diamond Red early. Which, of course, ended up being pretty much the exact opposite of what we did. We headed south towards Port Cacao instead, which has led to a fairly wildly fluctuating difficulty curve. Let's have Charlie swing by the poacher's camp, have a quick follow-up with Hyena. Yes, sir. We're on it. I have arrived. Where does the hunt lead next? This country is about as interesting as a porta potty and smells twice as bad. There's the attack squad on La Barriere. Looks pretty straightforward. Let's see how they do. Lost a single elite. I guess I can live with that. Delta's on site, but they're tired, so I'm giving them a chance to rest before we clear that sector. Pretty much same with Flay. He'll just sit on La Barriere for a bit. If I say I will be somewhere, then that is where I will be. That's just common courtesy. There's that one bit of loot we missed last time we passed through the camp. Ooh, and we should Hi. definitely hit the vendor's tables while we're here. Yeah, okay. Nice. And we'll take that too. But still nothing on the rifle table. That's weird. Not a big deal, I suppose. It's likely a gun type we have no real need for at this point. Follow me, or I'll just follow you. Nope, that's fine. So I heard you recruited Flay. It was my understanding you would kill this maniac, not add him to your team. Well, at least you didn't bring him here. He's your problem now. Here's your payment. 
Take it and feel free to leave. Hey, an equitable solution all around. Let's move. You got anything else for me? My friends, so good to see you again. Well, come, sit, stay a while. Let's talk. Sounds like someone's setting up to ask us for a favor. A little bird told me that you're connected with the boss in Flea Town. Here he comes. It's these damn smugglers. They're skinning me alive with their prices on supplies. Excuse the pun. <laughs> that was awful. But if you can arrange a deal for me with the boss directly, I'd be happy to slide some of my profits his way. Would mean some money for you as well, if he likes it. Told you. Huh. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think we can do that. We, we are roughly equal partners in the Grand Chien Diamond trade, after all. We'll see what we can do. Really? <laughs> Thank you. Here, this is for your help. Neat. Thanks. All right, Gilbert. I'll uh, I'll catch you later. Well, good hunting. That's an unexpected bonus. So between that and the uh, the bronze mask, definitely worth our time to come back through here. With these three treasures, plus one we already have banked back in Port Cacao, we can just have Flay max out Diamond Red remotely. So once he's finished resting, instead of having him head north, we'll have him head south instead. Do another vendor run. Also, let's knock out these level ups real quick. Almost forgot about those. And yeah, I think we're pretty much done with the wisdom track for Livewire. There is some temptation to go for the limb skills, but she's also a sniper, so we should probably start building her up the dex and agility tracks. Starting with dex, I think. We'll stack her with the usual stealth kill perks. And then as for Larry, this one's a whole lot more straightforward. We will give him Breach and Clear, which he inexplicably does not have. That'll make it a lot easier for him to get around on the battlefield, since unlike Rhett, he is still rocking a shotgun. Not to mention, of course, his lack of the throwing perk means he has to spend a lot more action points to actually lob grenades at someone. Follow me, or I'll just follow you. Nope, that's fine. We'll get Charlie down to Flea Town, have them meet up with Boss Blow Bear, get some rest. And Delta is still cooling their heels. There's Flay. Let's scoop that loot. Nothing all that notable, but we'll take it. And he will also stay put for 12 hours. Let's flip back over to Delta. They should be almost ready. Yep, there we go. Okay, let's check these sectors. Got a nasty critter here, partner. I would sneak up on a wrestler's partner. Hyenas, no big deal. Yeah. Just some quick and easy XP. <sighs> like a cowboy ninja. Quiet now, partner. Mm. Some trap for rustlers ready, partner. As silent as a spear. Making this shot would be like something out of a fairy tale. The villain won't see this coming. The villain is helpless before me. Visualize success to unlock potential. Visualize success to unlock potential. Nice. Gotta love that spotter move.
And we're good. Quiet now, partner. Let's give this place a gander. It's me, Thor. We've got another beast slayer over here, so that might. You see, humanity's yep. okay. unrestrained appetite for meat has turned nature against us. It would be good ambush on Rathra. A good surprise shot from here. Oh, nice. I should be working out. This will be pie. Oh. Fuck. Hey. It looks like some kind of monster. Be quiet now. Be quiet now. I will fall on them like a tree in the forest. <laughs> Keep silent to make good kill. Silent as a spirit in the woods. I will watch over our party. Like a cowboy ninja. They will hear nothing but the wind. They will hear nothing but the wind. I love your optimism, but it is perhaps misplaced. This might be overkill. I should be working out. Yeah, better than underkill, I suppose. On my way. We also just passed a flayed corpse. We move. Every journey begins with a single step. Yeah, yeah, this must have been one of the clue tiles we didn't end up needing. You got it. We go there, partner. Let's go for a walk. No need to rush. Posse moving. What's that? I think it might be drugs. I should check and see if it's drugs uh yeah larry about that we're moving the party yeah yeah you're you're right buddy i'll tell you when we get there outstanding let us move slow no need to rush anybody got snack and sector clear Let's push on to the next. We're on our way. The final sector on the Western Peninsula. Well, aside from the ones over here. But we'll get to those. If just a slight bit later than originally planned. Cute place. Seen it. Bye now. Oh, a cave. Is there a subterranean section on this it's map? A cowboy ready. No, no. I guess it's just a surface cave. Fuck. And no secret stashes, so we'll just walk the yard. Right on. All right. Look there, love me. Whatever. Dad, love me. Oh my. You guys go ahead. I'll catch up. This area seems non traversable. Come on. Well, that's just awful. Take a deep breath and release. I spot it because I do not fear success. I have found it waiting for me. Indeed. We'll take that. So yeah, not really much of a cave. 
vehicle now. You know what? Maybe that was Flay's hideout. Can we stop for snacks on the way? We're moving the party. Outstanding. Come on. Every journey begins with a single step. Posse moving. Anybody got snack? You got it. Let's go. And I think we're good. Let us move slow. No need to rush. Yeah, I feel like that's probably Flay's hideout. Either that or a dumping ground for the poachers camp. They are just south of here. All right, let's head back to Flea Town. In fact, we're probably looking at a few minutes worth of travel and bookkeeping, so I think we can skip ahead a bit. And we're back. As you can see, we have indeed moved the clock up a fair ways. I've renewed some contracts. And we've got Charlie and Delta currently en route to the sanatorium. I'll also note that uh, I did go back and check the old episodes, and it turns out that we basically haven't explored H11 and downward. That was basically the result of us rushing to intercept a diamond shipment on G11, and then pushing north from there to Mudwater Bridge. So we explored G11 and up, we just left a stretch unexplored below that. So, we'll go ahead and clear H11 whilst we're waiting for Delta to catch up. And then we'll have both squads make the approach on the hospital simultaneously. Oh, uh, also worth noting, it turns out Boss Blobear didn't have anything for us. In fact, there wasn't even a, a quest entry in our journal. So, quest complete? Question mark? That said, I did, however, notice that we have a quest marker on H9 now in the Fleet Town Market which I missed with Charlie, but caught in time for Delta to check it out. So we'll have them take care of that on their way to the sanatorium. And then aside from that, we've also got Flay down here right now, sitting on Port Cacao, uh, Junk Town specifically, where he is training up their militia. He also went ahead and dumped those treasures while he was visiting Emma. So we have a token guard on Diamond Red, for some reason, we couldn't go all the way up to veterans with remote training. But I think that'll be fine for now. That's one of our most insulated tiles. We'll have Flay finish what he's doing down here first, and then... Then we'll have him mosey his way up north. Just to uh, better secure our footholds. Anyway, let's clear H11, check the Fleetown Market. And then it's time to come clean. Minefield. Is that under the bridge or on top of it? Yes. Looks like it's under. But we'll check both. We'll do. We can use this. There's a trap here. Oh, yep. Okay, definitely got some under. Looks like that might be it. Going. But we'll still we'll still loop around. Better to check now than find out the hard way. Certainly. Seems clear. Affirmative. Ooh, what about what about that bridge? That seems like a good place to put mines. Nope, all clear. What? Fair enough. Let's sweep the map. All right, all right. 
And then... Yeah, okay. And then afterwards, we'll have Charlie just keep themselves busy for a few hours. Heading out. Whilst they wait for Delta to catch up. We're moving? We're moving. Hauling ass! On our way. Sure. Boss is around. You're the boss. Fine. You know, once again, I'm really kind of struck by the sheer quantity of tactical sure. markers on a map with no Present enemies on it. Ready to, um, do stuff. Word up. Oh, intel on sanatorium cellar. Uh, Michael here. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's a fortuitous find. Let's move. Intel on subterranean sectors is rare. Come with me, everyone. I guess we're going. Let's go. We've got a pack over here. Let me just fill in these gaps real quick. We outy. Sure. All right, all right. Oh, trapped. Presently in attendance. Ah, flare gun. Live wire here. All right, so Charlie will now cool their heels. Um. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let, let's go ahead and do some scouting. It's risky, but we're getting into unexplored territory again. Might as well cover all our bases. No, no. No, we'll leave, um, we'll leave ice there. And then we'll get the rest of the characters in an impromptu leadership seminar. I was thinking it might be worth having Ice in there as well, since he could be a shooting trainer, but he's not actually our best marksman. That's Bobby. And now Delta. On location. So who do we actually have to talk to? Yes, partner. It's gotta be Lolly. And check the stalls. Nope, nothing we need. We go there, partner. Hey, how about Ruxi, partner? Hmm? Steroid, what is best in life? Going for a personal best when getting pumped and ripped. Huh? No, no, say that I'm from the movie you are in. The one with the swords and sorcery. I told you that wasn't me. You do not listen. And if you do not listen, then to hell with you. <laughs> well, that's a crummy attitude. No need to rush. Hey, Lolly. Well, hello, my friends. You know, diamonds are great. But with so many people trying to control mining, cutting, selling, blah... It's confusing. I'm thinking I should introduce a new kind of currency, an electric currency, controlled by just me, trustworthy Lolly. I call it shitcoins, a uh, working title. Are you here to buy loot boxes or you need information? What, I, I can't buy shitcoins? <laughs> I know what's cooking. 
One tiny diamond for each... Huh. Okay. Goodbye, my friend. So if not Lolly, then who? As you wish. We're on our way. We should make use of what can be found lying around. I guess you we'll just it. walk around until a quest marker pops up. Can we stop for oh. snacks on the way? Right, I forgot about this guy. He's the uh, super suspicious syndicate guy. Yes, we can work for you. The syndicate bring you workers for good payment. Happy workers earn money. Happy syndicate get a share. Happy you. Everyone happy, nah? Really feels like you're overselling how happy everyone will be. Good news. People are happy working for you. No lashes, they say. Good food and good money. More people will come. You will see. Uh-huh, uh-huh, not being lashed. That's, that's good. Business is running well. People are happy working for you. And the syndicate is happy too. No need to rush. Okay, well, I'm sure that's fine. And we do seem to have a boost to income, so I guess we're all happy. We're on our way. Ah, crap. Yeah, I rolled the dice and paid the price. Only successfully scouted one grid, too. That's kind of a slap in the face, but fine. So that's one wound on Meltdown and Ice. I can live with that. Not sure we actually have time to treat that before Delta arrives, so we'll just roll with it. I just seem to have a knack for learning new things. What can I tell you? And Delta on site. Letting you know, I'm super all done here. Ooh, also a weapon shipment. We'll grab that later. And let's see what we've got. Well, that doesn't look very weird and or dangerous. Enemies. Oh, I see. The guards are marked as hostile. That does complicate things. Obvious breach in the walls on the back corner, right next to one of two subterranean entrances. So that could get us in the hospital. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, also a side door. We could probably just use that instead. We should probably give that a gander. We all go now. Um, yeah, so let's start with the front area. We've got a clear breach here, but I don't see guards. I think we could just walk in. Come with me, everyone. <gasps> Something of interest. Get back in line. Sir, please have patience and get back in line. Sir, what the hell? Shoot to kill. This is an outbreak of Lekadavare. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Okay, I think we've got a general idea of what's going on here. Alright, people, we drilled on this. Remember Larry's special anti-zombie tactics? What? Oh. 
Enemy down. That's a great idea. One down. Hi. No clear line of sight on that third one, but let's see if we can slow him down. A little worried about those guards. I would be there in a two shakes of a ram's tail. Like a shooting koi in pond. Okay, that'll buy us a little time. Let's get Mouse on number two. Yes. Okay. My goodness. I'm okay with just running and hiding. These guys are tanks. Hey, level up for Amran. Congrats, buddy. Yes. Ready to um do stuff. Got it. I'll shoot at anyone I see. I mean, bad guys, of course. Just the bad guys. All right. Huh? That's cool with me. This might be overkill too, but you saw how tough that other guy was. Fine. Mouse here. Word up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dad love me. I think that's enough. Only one enemy remaining. I hope they've made peace with their fate. Oh. I made this shot a hundred times in movies. Well, now I feel silly. You want something? Good to know these guys are really susceptible to leg shots, though. Mouse here. I'll file that away in the old brain bank. You got it. Thank you for your help. Now we have to clean this mess. I'm sorry I can't let you in, but the facility is closed by order of Dr. Cronenberg. Right, right. Yes. Dr. Cronenberg. That does sound like a very respectable and trustworthy doctor. No need to rush. Right up there with Dr. Craven or Dr. Carpenter. There'll be rustlers in these parts. We should uh, probably have a look around. Live wire here. We should take a closer look at this. It takes some time to find the right frequency. I repeat, what are the doctor's orders? Should I hire more healthy subjects, or is the last batch enough for now? Interesting. Also, I notice patients trying to break out of the hospital. That's always a good sign. Any cheese in here? Okay, so they've got the place locked down. It does seem like we should try to find our way in there. Um, but let's going, uh, right? finish looking around out here first. Need to be wary of those guards, too. I'm not sure how they'll react if they spot us out here. Sure, we'll get there. I'd like to talk to him, but that's way too close to the front gate. Follow me, or I'll just follow you. Nope, that's fine. How about you guys? Okay. Look there, love me. Medical supplies. 
If you have any spare medicines, we can buy them from you. We'll put them to good use in the sanatorium. Oh, that's me selling medical supplies. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Easy two grand. Come back tomorrow and we'll be able to buy some more meds from you. We all go now. Let's go for a walk. Let's see wow. what Wow! Ten more halls like this, and I'll bet I'll be able to pay off half my student loans. You really love flare guns. Can't you see I'm busy? If you need anything, ask the doctors and they will give you an explanation why you can't have it. Not true. I asked the doctor for a sleeping pill and the next thing I knew, I was out cold. <laughs> Thank you, Larry. Heading out. Thank you for reaffirming why we are here. Well, why we were supposed to be here anyway. Before we saw all this. Town of sneak and peek. I will try to remain hidden. If you are quiet in your mind, you are quiet in your mind. You know what? We probably Every don't need to sneak out here. With a single step. Okay. Let us move slow. Huh. No need to rush. Really? There is something unknowable here. Word up. I would have really figured the giant open charnel pit would have been a clue, but uh, apparently not. God love me. How about that truck? Okay. Careful. This mouse bites. They will hear nothing but the wind. I am one with the stillness of everything. When I move quietly, I can hear nature's heartbeat. There are many tire tracks that head off to the east. All bodies have been carefully bound and secured. One might think the staff was taking precautions against the dead. Rising. I like to go barefoot whenever I can. Looks like we've got a crematorium here. Let's check that out. Quiet as a church mouse. Some of the bodies are prepared for incineration. They seem to have been recently infected and then euthanized. If you are quiet in your mind, you are quiet in your body. Interior doors locked. You know what? Let's... Let's not risk letting these patients out. We have another stairway inside. We'll quiet, use the cellar access. Nature's heartbeat. Yeah, get out of here. Nobody oh, likes your style. Knows. They will hear nothing but the wind. Quiet. Like okay, go, go, go. The super secret shadow only I can see. Uh, quickly, quickly. Long walk over, Glovny. We'll make camp and rest. Oh, thank goodness. This is probably fine. I'm a used to the open prairie, partner. This place makes me sweaty. This will not look good on the camera. Dang it, Tex, you're claustrophobic too. What? I should be working out. Gotta remember to keep Delta topside. And hey, there's Dr. Cronenberg, huh? We'll definitely have a chat with them before we hit the pause button. Hello! But, you know, first things first. had like a he had like a muzzle on interesting which does make sense if it is mutated rabies he 
Keeping it real. Be careful not to accumulate bad karma. That was so cool! I wish I could shoot like that! Hi! Ready when you are. Just trying to focus down the closer ones. Not a problem. I truly believe this is why girls make the best soldiers. Dangerous around here. Hello. Right on. Right on, man. Death to the zombies. Yeah, yeah, uh, surprisingly on point, Larry. Well said. That's such a good place for me to be. Is it, Thor? Because I feel like it's a terrible place for you to be. But we'll uh, we'll try to keep you covered. Sure, partner. Trap for wrestlers, ready, partner. Hey, man, what's up? Come on, Ted. Let's go. Can we... Ah, forget it. Just, we'll take what we can get. Fall back. Whatever. Down here, watch me put this one down like a sick dog. Nice, there's a cowboy ready. MD present, going there. Uh, you mean right now? What? Going right now. Hello there. All right, I'm going. And I am not sure this will be enough to stop all of them, but we're going to try. Hmm? Oh, yes. All right, let's get Shambolic. Nice. One, one out. That's two. Plus some bonus collateral. Oh, shit. I really thought Meltdown was far enough over. Ow. This is nothing. I do my own stunts. 
Hello, enemies! You really should consider running away. You are no match for our overwhelmingly positive attitude. <laughs> and we're clear. At least temporarily. You shouldn't get too bold. I think there are more enemies around. Hello! And you know, uh, our Texas Ranger might need a walker, but that certainly could have gone worse. MD present. Let's get our guys patched as best we can, then we'll poke around the basement a little. Mouse here. It's me, Thor. Sweet Jesus, that's better. Thought I was gonna run out of blood. Let's bounce. There is always more to find in this world. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Can't actually seem to click on that. Weird. It's not hell. This is cute. Nice. Not sure we really need that, but we'll certainly hold on to it. Also a slightly odd thing to find in a morgue. Dead body on a dissection table. Ready to, um, do stuff. Looks like the autopsy was never finished, because the body wasn't dead enough at the time. The fatal injury seems to have been inflicted after the autopsy started. Um, Michael here. Kind of makes me think about that short story Stephen King wrote. About the guy who gets bitten by a snake and ends up paralyzed on a an autopsy table. We outy. It it doesn't end well so for him. Bossy. Door is locked. Maybe we should just call it a day. What? Fine. Yes. Rest in peace. Please? Ready to, um, do stuff. Ah, uh, politeness. The bane of many an undead. Well done, Mouse. These were test subjects. This is horrific! The body seemed to have been euthanized with cyanide before the infection progressed. Um, Michael here. Follow me, or I'll just follow you. Nope, that's fine. Yeah, I think we've seen enough. Let's let's have a chat with the good doctor. Come with me, everyone. Who are you? Why have you murdered my patients? Your patients? Oh, you mean the shambling murderous zombies? They are people in dire need of medical aid, and I refuse to let them die without receiving it. So it's okay when they die with medical aid? I am doing what I can. I am doing what I have to do. At the very least, I am relieving their pain and not shooting my patients. I mean, I feel like the guards up top would beg to differ. It is up to the hospital guard's discretion to stop an outbreak by any means necessary. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And the, uh, cyanide? This place seems to do little to heal the body, and even less to tend to the soul. And who are you to tell me how I am to handle my patients? If they need to die for the sake of science, then they will die. And no half-baked field nurse can tell me what to do with them. Excuse me, I'm fully baked. No, wait, <laughs> that came out wrong. And I can order you to be infected as well. Oh, Doc, that's, uh, that's a very bold thing to say to 12 heavily armed mercenaries who just shot their way into your office. You, uh, you sure you don't want to rephrase that, maybe? Look, we're here because there's clearly something going on. People are dying. Of course they are dying here. People don't go to the beach to die. They come to the hospital. Um, that may be statistically true, but it is not the actual reason why people go to the hospital. Thank you, MD. Also, uh, when I start dying, straight into the sun. So yeah, Doc, I'm, I'm like 93% sure you're killing your own patients. 
It is not murder when it is done in the name of science. The red rabies is no joke. It is virulent and deadly, and the host spread it through acts of brutal violence. I was so close to breaking its genome when I became infected. Oh, gross. Nope. Uh-uh. I think I need to be going now. I soon discovered that a blood transfusion from a newly infected host can temporarily halt the disease progression. In the interest of expediency, it was necessary to infect volunteers to ensure a steady supply of recently exposed blood and tissue. Uh, this... this is too much. Uh, oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. I am so close to discovering a cure. Who will be helped if I die before I complete my research? I mean, Doc, I kind of get where you're coming from, but you can't just go around fatally infecting and executing people. Why? Hundreds have died already. But if I do not finish my research, the disease will spread and it will claim the lives of millions more. It is simple math. This is not the only way to do medical research. As doctors, our job is to alleviate suffering, not make use of it. Ha! <laughs> Tell that to the doctors of both world wars. Nothing has contributed to medical science more than using human test subjects. I need to continue with my experiments, or the red rabies will kill me, and my research will die with me. Oh man, that's kind of a... That's kind of a big ask. But it does imply that if we don't let her continue her experiments, then her research will go incomplete. No, there, ha there has to be alternatives to human experimentation. They've given us options on a lot of the other quests. They wouldn't just pigeonhole this one behind war crimes. No, sorry, uh, Doc, I, I get where you're coming from, but it's a hard no here. Also, that whole bit about the um, world war is probably not the best approach, and your name is doing you no favors. That means not only will I become just another victim of disease, but there will be thousands, probably millions more soon after. The millions must die. The alternative is inhumane. Well, we still have a chance to avoid that fate if we act quickly. You must help me with my research with utmost haste before the disease makes that impossible. Well, gosh, it turns out there was an immediate alternative. What are the odds? All right, what do you need? I need samples of red rabies strains and mutations from all over the region. And I need them fast. I will give you a map and I can provide the necessary equipment. I will wrangle those samples for you, Doc. Right, right. Hey, we, uh, we got a little banged up on our way down here. We could use some medical supplies if you've got any handy. Of course. Here, take these. Just make sure you put them to good use. We are in dire need of medications ourselves. Right, right. All right, hurry up and find me those samples. The clock is ticking. We promise to be back before high noon. In the meantime, the hospital is at your disposal. Please refrain from killing my patients. We will if you will. Let's make a pinky promise. Ouch. Oh, Mouse, you are vicious. But, I mean, we had ample evidence of that regardless. Oh man, look at this. What was that? That was like five samples we need? Hold on. Oh wow, yeah, we've got... We've got quest markers all over the place all of a sudden. Dr. Cronenberg needs red rabies samples to produce a cure for the virus. Uh, outbreak of the Grimer Hamlet. Old burial grounds. Wetlands. Factory ruins. Twin manors. Chalet de la Pa. 
with a 10 day time limit. Oh man. Wow. Uh, all right. Well, this just got a lot more involved than I thought it would. I thought we'd just pop in, kill some zombies or something, and and then pop Larry into rehab. Which actually, I guess, I guess technically we can do now. Now that we have access to the hospital. But that would immediately eat time off of our very strict time limit. Do we need all these samples, or...? Oh, hey, it's Pierre. I guess if we're going to be in the area, maybe we'll snag him while we're there. All right, well, um, this is going to require a completely new game plan, because we've got ten days to hit six locations... And how long does rehab take? That's that's not bad. I mean, we could have Delta stay put for a day. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to call it here. I have to crunch some numbers and figure out our exact approach here. But... We will pick up here next time as the race is on. See you then. Oh, and special thanks to the Raiders, the fine folks who help make these videos possible, including but not limited to Revenant, Eloise, Crow King LOR, Dragon Matrix 7, Dracket, Theory V23, Egon Alter, Excelsior, Goatleaf, James Tremay, Kazor, Mark Jams, and Nathan Waltz Jr., Overlord Verum, Random Passerby, Robbie B., Rowan Church, Thomas Piatkowski, Trip Hop and Skip, and Val and Rook. Thanks for your support, guys. That said, if you'd also like to help support the channel, then feel free to push the buttons that do the things. Trust me, it does make a difference. Or you could even check out the PayPal, the Patreon, the Nexus GG, or the YouTube memberships. Links are in the description. Oh, gross. Nope. Uh-uh. I think I need to be going now.